gradually getting through the Nikon cameras. And when I started these tests of various cameras, I didn't really appreciate, it, appreciate how many models there actually were. Now, the model I'm going to talk about today is a very probably the most straightforward Nikon, probably the cheapest one, and one that didn't reach every market. And it's this, I was going to say this funny thing, it looks quite conventional. It's a Nikon Zoom 60, and it was followed by the Zoom 60s. Um, and this was available outside Europe. Um, there was one for reference on the web and it said it wasn't available in Europe. Now, what is slightly, I find, odd about this camera is that it is a zoom lens, which is fine, um, 35 to 60. And to use, it's very conventional to use. We simply load a film in the back. It takes two AA batteries. Now, I had to take the batteries out because I found this camera kept coming on um, and wanting, I it kept, I, know, I kept noticing that it wanted to use the flash. So I took the batteries out, but I will put the batteries back in. It conveniently takes two AA batteries. And we've got this typical little plastic um, cover here, which isn't fantastic. And to switch it on, there we are. There's no on-off switch. And you've got this zoom control here. Can you notice what's missing on this camera? It has a lens, it has a flash, it has a viewfinder. It only has one viewfinder. There's no automatic focusing. So it's actually a fixed focus lens which makes the camera quick to use, but being a um, fixed focus lens, we are going to have an issue with either portrait or distance. I'm not sure, before I've actually put a film in, um, how the focusing is actually going to turn out. What is a slightly odd thing as well is we do have a macro we have a little flower on here, which I presume if you press there, and I presume it would be um, the length of the cord. It might not have been. Um, if you know, please message me and I'll be very interested to um, leave a message. Um, and I presume you press the macro and take. As you can see, see the flash is working. We have a counter. And that really is it. Or oh, we have a little indicator for the flash, as you can see. And we also have a red indicator, which I think was for, um, um, which I think was for general exposure. It's a very straightforward camera. What is fascinating, I find, is how Nikon at the beginning of their sort of tenure in cameras were making very high-end cameras and by the 90s they were making almost throw array cameras or were they just trying to get to a rider market let's see if this actually can take a decent photograph so the first image is a little bit as I expected. I think this was actually on the zoom setting. So the zoom was out um, extended and it's it's a bit soft. It's sort of OK, but it's not fantastic. This one of the chapel, it's an Auburn's Chapel in Dorset near Poole. Um, and this is absolutely fine. It's not pin sharp, but it will it will do. It's um, a credible photograph. The next photo is um, again a landscape and at the right angle part of the zoom this camera seems to be absolutely fine um, and I'm, it has a light meter, well when I say a light meter it has got um, automatic exposure and that seems to work very well and again the lens here is at the right angle setting and I'm absolutely quite surprised with how good this actually is. This is taken inside the chapel and again the meter copes with the outside and 
you know, this camera is a usable camera. And because it basically has very few parts, it's quite a reliable camera, I would say. And I was quite impressed with how this um, slightly high contrast photograph taken inside the chapel with the light falling on the pew, this works quite nicely. Again, this wide angle shot is absolutely fine, but I took a similar shot with, um, which I think is the photo after this, and it's not as sharp. So this is quite sharp. Oh, this works really well. This is the Coast Guard station, and as you can see, um, it's as sharp as anything. So perhaps my concerns were ill-founded. And again, that's at the um, rider angle of the zoom. We've got quite a nice sky. It was a beautiful evening. Um, it was the day before Good Friday this year. And again, this has been, that was a little bit sharpened on um, Photoshop. And I might have overdone the Photoshop there. But it shows what you can do from such a cheap little camera. Again, this didn't have any Photoshop done to it, and you can see it is a little bit soft, but it has a certain look to it, and um, it's quite a presentable look, I think. Now, this was the photo I was talking to. Compared to the previous one, uh, you can see how that isn't actually in focus, and I'm not sure whether that's the zoom or whether there's a bit of camera shake. Could be a bit of camera shake, could be a combination. Where that was the other one I have reported, repeated this, sorry, sorry, this evening, but that is actually quite sharp. So, the camera wasn't quite as bad as I was expecting it to be. It wouldn't be my camera of choice, but it was absolutely fine. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.